just going to use a couple of paint colors just to give me a little bit of something, something, something going on underneath all this delicious glass and stuff that we're going to put on here. And I do want to remind you, when we get started laying this stuff down, we will resin and then lay this sea glass into the resin because I want to show you what happens to sea glass once it gets wet. Let me grab a nice blue piece. Let's see, I need water. Here's my water. So when you get, see, I'll do white because I think you'll be able to see it better. So this, as you can see, is nice and frosty, right? The sea glass, nice and frosted look to it. it I need red coffee. So I'm gonna wet it with just with some water. I just sprayed water in my hand and now you can see all of that nice, sorry, all that nice frosted look is gone. So here is, sorry, my silly phone rang and it's on do not disturb. Um, so here's one that's frosted, here's one that's wet. So if we put these down and pour resin on top, they'll end up clear. I want them to be frosty looking like this one. So we're gonna lay those on top of the resin in lieu of resining over the sea glass. So, okay. I'm just gonna keep going with the art and hopefully the um, freezing will uh, be gone in the replay. I understand if the, you get impatient and it's so annoying that it maybe come back and watch the replay uh, because there is, um, oh, we'd be drunk, wouldn't we, Tina? Because there's really nothing I can do about it being frozen, so. All right, so I'm just gonna start up with, for my water. I need fresh water, Kristen McKenzie. I got dirty water. All right, hang on. Let me grab a cup so I can pour some water into it because I need some water. I just lost my water bottle. <laughs> That's right, Pam. So I'm gonna pour some water in here so because we're gonna do a little bit of painting, not too much, just a wee. And I need something to rinse my brushes. So we're going to start with a decent sized brush. Just something, thank you, Sue. Just something that uh, we can just get this paint on. I'm going to use a, a little bit of a larger brush. And it's you can see the dust coming out of it. My goodness. And we're going to use this brush for the whole paint job, all right? So I want most of my canvas to be glass, all right? So I'm gonna do a little bit of sand, maybe about halfway. We'll do that in our antique white. Then we're gonna do just a little line of water-ish kind of stuff. We'll do a little bit of blue, a little light blue, a little dark blue with a little white in there, and then we'll do a little sky. So let's go ahead and just start with the antique white. Ooh. And we will, I'm going to do that about halfway up. Antique white. So let's go halfway up, maybe a little more than that. And I'm just going to cover the entire front of the canvas with this color. And I'm not going to be terribly mindful about um, perfect lines, all right? Not even gonna worry too much about it. Just get it on. There we go. So that is gonna just be a little bit of a base for our shells and stuff. So let's rinse that out. Hey, Polly, hey, Becky. And I'm gonna add a little bit of spa blue to my palette. I'm gonna scooch over, scooch down and over. A little bit of spa blue and a little bit of castaway. This color is sexy. 
Oh, it's new too, so I can't, hang on. I thought I took the wrapping off, but apparently I didn't. Let me grab my skizzer. Mm -mm -mm. Whew. Somebody's gonna need to build a wine store close to me. All right, this is called Castaway. It's a beautiful blue, you'll see. Let's stick a little bit of that right there. And I'm gonna put some white on my palette too. Thank you for the sprinkles, y'all. We will be giving this beauty away to some lovely supporter. So if you are, would like to be gifted, all you got to do is let your friends know we're here, sprinkle the love, and we will draw a name from those who sprinkled and um, we'll give this thing away. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, same brush, and I am going to start with just this darker blue. I think that was Castaway. Yes, Castaway. And I'm just gonna kind of put myself a little line in here. And again, I'm not really stressing too much about it being perfect. And we're gonna bring all that glass and color, beads, all kinds of goodies up into this. So I'm gonna go about halfway up again and add this color. Now, while this is wet, I'm gonna rinse this off. It's dark, just a little bit. Still have a little bit on, a little bit of that blue on my paintbrush. I'm gonna go into the spa blue just get a little on my brush and just kind of pull in left to right, kind of lay it, your brushes. Thank you, Tootsie. Thank you for the stars, Devin. See, and you see how I'm not painting with my brush upright. It's kind of flat and parallel to the surface. And I'm just gonna lay in a little bit of that spa blue. I'm gonna bring all the way up to the top and then, hang on, I'm, gonna try, I'm deciding as I go right now. <laughs> then I'm gonna rinse this, get some of that darker color out. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of white on the upper portion of my canvas. Just wipe that out. That way we can blend. I'm gonna come almost down to my water. All right, let's offload, just wipe the excess off. I'm gonna go back into the spa blue, and I'm just gonna bring that water right into the sky. Just kind of blend it right into that white until it becomes nothing, until it's just white. That's a very abstract way of just kind of blending your sky into the water. All right, I'm digging that, I'm digging that. I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I'm not gonna rinse again. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. And I'm trying this out, I'm gonna get a tiny bit of white just on the tips of my brush, all right? Just fit, barely tip that in. And now I'm gonna just make a few little wiggle lines that are kind of like waves. So you know how if you're looking across the water and you see those waves breaking, it's always like that little white crests at the wave. And then we'll bring, let's tip it out again and we'll bring that right to the shore and pull that down as well. Doesn't really even matter. We're gonna be covering the bottom half with tons of shells, not shells, but Tons of glass and goodies uh, that are in this blue family, and we are just trying to create a nice little backdrop for that. So you can pretty much do anything. I'm very pleased with this. I think we're gonna move on. I'm gonna dry that. You can kind of see how we got started. Thank you, Deanna. So I'm gonna hit this with my heat gun. Fingers in wet paint. 
Let's get this dry, and then we're going to just start laying out some pretty glass. Thank you, Laura. Takes practice. I think I've been painting since I can sit up straight. So, let's turn this up. I think with something like this, that's like water, thank you, Wendy, that it's sometimes it is, sometimes it's better if you don't overthink it. So you don't go in trying to like decide to place a color here or blend a color there. You just get started and lay your color out and then start adding other colors in until you like it. There's no right or wrong. Okay, so I am going, I'm gonna start adding in my glass now. Now I am gonna tell you, I wanna show you this real quick. I'm gonna pull this down a little. This is my bucket OC glass. Can you see that? That is so delicious. And I'm literally going to just dig in and grab some glass. I'm gonna pick out anything I don't like, like that one. Maybe add in a few smaller of the blues. And I, I'm gonna lay this on my canvas. Let me grab a few greens. I wanna lay this on my canvas, but before we resin, I'm gonna take it off so that we don't, so we don't lose that frost. All right, so I'm gonna grab a handful of that. I'm gonna move this aside so we can see what our next thing is. So basically, I'm just gonna line this across the bottom. However, it lays, and this is how we're gonna start. We're just gonna build from the bottom up, all right? So let's put this back. This is going to be fun. I'm gonna grab a few more blue pieces to fill in. A little piece here, a little blue here, a little blue here. These, I love this sea glass. Um, and don't forget, we are gonna remove this, so don't get too crazy about making sure everything's perfect at this point. I just wanna make sure I have enough. All right, so that's our first layer of sea glass, okay? Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a little line of, I do not sell the sea glass. Helen, I bought all of mine on Etsy. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this Solex. We do sell this glass, it's called Solex. And I'm gonna line just a nice little line of Solex. You can even incorporate some of that down into your sea glass if you want. Don't get too heavy handed with that yet because we are taking that sea glass off, most of it. All right, so a little bit of that Solex. Now we're gonna throw in a little bit of this Caribbean blue, my, one of my faves. We'll add a little bit of that. And we're gonna overlap a little Oh, you know what I did? Here's what I did. I'm gonna scooch this up a little because I was gonna add some of those gems here. So I'm gonna scooch this up. This is where it pays to watch and then play because sometimes I goof up. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and I goof up. All right, so I'm gonna scoot that up, give myself some space. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Caribbean We'll get it all back in place in just a second. Ah, missed. Ooh. All right, a little bit of Caribbean. Now I'm gonna go backwards. And remember, I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They are, they're called decorative fillers. These are actually from Michaels. I can tell by the Ashland brand. These are Michaels. So I'm gonna grab some of these. And some are frosted, some are not. So in this pack, you have um, a little frosted with a little bit of blue. Then you have just frosted, and then two shades of, two different shades of blue. So I'm gonna add some of that in. 
and you want to add it close to your sea glass because you're going to have to pull this off too. I'm mostly just placing it for now so that I know where I want it, where I want all my other stuff as we're adding. So I know it seems a little backwards and crazy, but I'm sometimes I'm backwards and crazy. So there's that. We're gonna add a little bit of sea glass, a little bit of gems, little glass gems here and there. We'll throw one in here. And we'll make adjustments as well. So now we have um, two different colors of glass as well. We'll add a little more of this. And I'm gonna mix up some resin. I'm gonna dump off the bottom half because I think it is uh, going to work out better because what I want to add next are seed beads and bubbles and some seashells. Um, but I think it's going to work out better if I go ahead and take this off. Sometimes you do. So I'm going to take off my pile of sea glass. I know it seems counterproductive, but I, I want my sea glass to stay the way it is. So it has, it has to be. Take off my sea glass. Oh, hang on. Then I'm going to take out some of these uh, frosted mini wheats, some of the frosted gems. And I'm going to add in some of this shell. Just uh, some of this blue tinted shell, and we'll probably add some more on top too. Just, just sprinkle it in here and there. And I'm gonna pull these off. Here. We're gonna resin, and then what's gonna happen? We're gonna resin this and the flat surfaces. While that resin is wet, we're gonna lay in all our pieces that are frosted so they don't get icky. And we're gonna add some seed beads. I have two different kinds of seed beads. These are called Mayuki Sea Foam, and these are called Mint. All these from uh, the lobby, Hobbly Lobbly. And I have some of the Crystal Clear. All right, and I'm having a hot flash, so I'm not happy about that either. All right, so let's get some resin mixed up and then we'll be able to kind of manipulate this better. All right, I know it's kind of crazy. It's a crazy day. So I'm gonna imagine, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of resin. Um, I need gloves, where are my gloves? Hang on, hang on. Keep turning the light off. I had to fetch gloves, sorry. I'm going to take my pen. Thank you, Catherine. And I'm going to mark my cup at, um, let's see. I want, I'm just going to make mix an ounce. I think that's way too much, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's just easier. I'm all for easier right now. Okay, so a half an ounce of resin, a half an ounce of hardener, put on some gloves, and we shall get this resin party started. I am plugged in. And I have full battery too, so. Thank you, Amy, for watching out. Ooh. Okay. Thank you, Amy. So I'm trying to get my hands in these gloves, y'all. It's not working out too well. I will tell you everything that's on here when we are done, okay? I'll show you. We'll play show and tell after I get the resin poured and we I'll tell you everything that I've added. I'm trying to not make a complete mess. Okay. So I have my resin cup and we're gonna do a half an ounce of the hardener art resin. So 
So we'll get half an ounce, oh, half an ounce. Half an ounce comes quick, so pour slow. Oh, hold your mouth right too. Next. A half ounce of hardener or vice versa, whichever it was. Doesn't matter which one you start with really. The, the resin is thicker. So I almost always start with the hardener and then pour the resin over the top of that, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I am gonna mix my resin and I am, while I mix this, um, I'll answer any questions anybody has. I'm not gonna answer any questions about it being frozen though because I cannot control that. <laughs> so don't ask, I don't know what to do. So I am going to just stir and mix all this together. We're gonna to do this for three minutes. So anybody has a question, I am happy to answer any questions you might have. Somebody talk to me, talk to me. Okay. <laughs> Scrape, 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 make sure. That's right, Amber. <laughs> I have no idea, Maria. I, um, I don't know if it's that's a new brand or if Anita's is changing. I don't have any insider information on that. But I, if it's a new brand, I'm almost glad because the Anita's paint was not turning out very well. It seems like... Since COVID, the, the Anita's paint was had gone downhill. So hopefully, um, it will. It's a new brand and it'll be better. The tinted shells I bought from Michaels, Judy. So over in the section where you get like glass, not jewelry, but like um, vase filler and stuff, you should be able to find the blue shells. I did see those, Amy. I actually printed one. I printed them or one. I can't remember. Uh, that was before I went to Oxford, and I'm contemplating how I'm going to make that happen. Let's see. I'm not going to pour over. I'm going to pour over the glass, but I'm not going to pour over the sea glass. Cheryl, we're going to talk about that on the Shattered Circle page. We're not going to um, talk about that here. I've pretty much talked it to death, but we're going to rehash over that and talk about um, options and solutions for sure. Let's see. Amber said, how do I choose? Basically, Amber like an hour before I get started. Sometimes I plan way ahead. But today, I just got back in town at 10 o'clock this morning. I had a thousand things to do and everybody in the warehouse was pulling me in 10 different directions. And I literally decided at four o'clock what I was gonna do. And I knew I was gonna do all this blue immediately. So sometimes it just comes to you. Elaine, I sell the Caribbean blue glass in my store. If you want, you can find that uh, on artshattered.com, this Caribbean blue. It is my favorite, and you can buy it in my shop. Where you get resin or the other you mixed into it. The resin and hardener are um, art resin, and you can buy that at Michael or not Michael's, Hobby Lobby sells it. You can get Art Resin on Amazon or on the Art Resin website. Uh, Stephanie, I am in North Mississippi. I'm at the top of the sip, almost in Memphis. I've not looked into Starlink because I have satellite right now and it 
is terrible. So I'm not interested in satellite anymore. And uh, so hopefully we'll get some, we'll be able to resolve this somehow. Time, Catherine says, time is up. She's going to be yelling at me in a minute. She said it three times. <laughs> I'm just going to keep stirring, see if we could stir Catherine up. Okay, I bought Top Notch from Joann's. It's not that good. Wouldn't recommend to anyone. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, so I'm going to pull this closer. Jo uh, Amy says Joann's Fabric uh, also sells art resin. I got gotcha, you, Catherine. I hear you. I'm going to give it one more quick stir because, <laughs> because uh, I've just been dilly dallying. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just cover my glass. This is the Caribbean blue glass, Solex glass, and those tinted shells from Michaels. So I'm gonna cover that first. We'll get that all covered up because that can be completely saturated without affecting the look. So we're gonna cover that. Y'all, I do not recommend remodeling a house at 60. No, don't do it. Hire people. You know, I think that if we had the, we felt like we had the time, we would have probably hired it all out, but, or most of it anyway, but we're both, literally we are both like do-it-yourselfers, so it seems it's really difficult if you're a do-it-yourselfer to hire out things that you know you can do. But I'm gonna tell you right now. You, Catherine, my iPad is on a time delay, so I, it usually catches up eventually. So anyway, um, we're both DIYers, and it's really hard to pay somebody to do something you know you can do. And we had the issue of not having lots of time. So we're really tired really quite tired. We're going to get it done though. And move on because I'm ready to work on the lake house. All this other stuff, not that fun. I want to decorate. I don't want to remodel. <laughs> this is a uh, silicone, Rennie. It's the silicone flat brush. Hey, Lily. Uh, he is, he did not finish but he is done for now because he needed to, his renter moved out of the house and he needed to get that fixed up and sold. And so, because he didn't want to rent out anymore. And let me get that boo-boo out. And so he just is on a hiatus. I think he's gonna go back in late fall, probably to escape me and my craziness, if, if I know him well enough. Um, because around here, fourth quarter is insanity. So he'll probably run away again, and I don't blame him. I might run away too. Um, but no, he's not completely finished. He's just taking a little break. Oh, he has a lake house, Joanne. He has a lake house too. And so we're going to be just be doing a little bit of redecorating, remodeling, uh, girling things up just a little bit so I can stand to be there. Because let me just tell y'all this, he's a hunter and there's a lot of trophies on the wall. Not like baseball trophies either, not the fun kinds. All right, I have a little bit of resin left. I'm gonna save. Oh, yeah, Stephanie, isn't that, isn't that the case? It's like, I know I can do just as good a job as contractors, so hard to let go of that. All right, so under, here I have Caribbean Blue, and I'm gonna scooch it up just a little. I don't want things to be perfect, so I'm gonna scoot that up a little and give it some wave. So we have Caribbean Blue, then we have Solex, then we have some of the blue seashell. Now I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna add some of these gems. Remember these little gems that I got at Michael's? Ooh, my shorts have like the little stray um, hem stuff and it keeps tickling my leg and I think there's something on me. So these frosted ones, I'm for sure gonna just kinda lay in cause I don't want those um, to get unfrosted. I want them to remain, but I am gonna stack. 
All right, so I'm gonna stack them so it's not a straight line of gems. All right, I don't want it to be a perfectly straight line. I'm gonna stack them, move them around a little. I may put a drop of resin on top of this one that is not frosted, just to make sure it sticks. And I'm just gonna add a few of these back in. We'll do one more right here. And I think I'll throw one, I'm gonna squish one in up in here, up in here. All right, so not a straight line, make it kind of organic and fun. All right, so, oh my gosh, Catherine, it doesn't ever end, does it? <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to go back to, this has got something on it. it, looks like a rock embedded in that sea glass. But I'm gonna go back to the sea glass and I'm just gonna start laying some of that in because I want it to lay in the resin and not have resin on top of it, all right? So I'm gonna lay some of that right down. I just wanna make sure it's touching. So that it sticks. I'll scooch that one up in between. So I'm kind of placing it mostly so that I know that it has resin, right? So I don't want to have any skippies. And we'll fill the little holes in with beads and such. So I'm going to just start laying a little more quickly. I'm digging this, y'all. This feels so nice. Let's put a little blue one in. And if you wanted more depth, what you could do is lay it in, pour, pour resin over it, and then put another layer of the sea glass if you wanted. And you know what I may do, I may, get a little bit of resin and put it on my plate. That way, like this one here, has a funny weird bottom. I'm gonna just dip it in that resin and then place it so I know it has resin on it. I know that seems crazy, but I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Tuck, tuck. A little one here. This is so pretty. I hope that it comes off in on the page as well as it looks here because it is spectacular. I love the, is it gradation? It's like um, larger glass at the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit of resin here and then it just gets uh, big smaller and smaller as you get towards the top so I'm gonna add a few more little nugs here and there I'll tuck that one under there's a real pretty blue we'll make sure it whoop gets tucked in y'all know this is not normal for me because there ain't no way I wanna, especially on a big piece, I'm gonna sit here with my impatient self and place all these little beads or all these little stones. I'm gonna get a little glue on that one, lay it right there. And I'm gonna get a little glue on that one, not glue, it's resin. And I'm gonna lay it right here. All right, I wanna show you this close up. So you can kind of see what we got going on here. So we have the sea glass at the bottom. Then we have that row of gems. We have shells and glass, all right? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my gloves off real quick. And y'all, I should have only made a half an ounce of resin because I still have a half an ounce left. 
So if you're gonna do an eight by eight, you only need a half an ounce of resin. I have an entire half an ounce of resin left. So don't go crazy, make two, make two. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle in some of these. The, these came from Hobby Lobby. It's Bee Treasures, as always, and it's called Miyuki, and they're size eight, sea foam seed beads. So we're gonna just sprinkle. Let me see if I can get it open. I'm gonna sprinkle some of these kind of along the, where the shells are. I'm gonna go sideways a little. Just add in some of these. They're iridescent and really quite pretty. And I'm just gonna add those right in that seashell line or the, where the shells are, just to fill in a few spots. All right, and where'd my top go? Here it is. <coughs> the next thing I'm gonna add is this color, which I fell completely in love with. It is called, these are Czech glass seed beads at Hobby Lobby again, uh, Bee Treasures. And these are called, they're 80 size eight, and it's called Inside Mint. So they're absolutely beautiful. So let's see if we can get this open. Love these. I don't know if I showed them to you. So you, they're kind of minty blue. So pretty. Thank you for the, sh for the sprinkles. Emergency art piece time. So these are lighter. So what I'm gonna do is bring these right on the edge of my water line. And I'll throw a little in here. I'll add a few here and there. Like anywhere where you have like a big hole that a seed bead might fit into between your pieces, just kind of toss some in there. You can, uh, once it's dry, you can just kind of dump it upside down and anything loose will just fall right off. Put it over a plate though, because you want to save these. These are gorgeous. Put it over a plate. All right, and last but not least by any stretch, oh, not even last, I am going, these are the Crystal Luster Seed Beads. They're just those clear ones. So we're gonna line it again right at the top. I'm not even gonna do my heat gun. Well, I guess I will. I don't wanna blow stuff everywhere, but I'm gonna line right at the top. Some of those Crystal Luster Seed Beads. I'm actually, since I have lots of resin and I want to uh, heat gun this, I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of resin over, <laughs> over these seed beads just to make sure when I use my heat gun, it doesn't blow the beads all over the studio. We want them stuck down. All right, that'll do it. Now I have resin on my thumb. Okay, last, now it's last but not least. We're gonna add a few of these bubbles because Everything looks better in bubbles. Wendy, what's wrong, boo? Oh, you're sick from the Ozempic? Nauseous? Are you nauseous? Is it nausea? Because I have a friend who's taken that and she is so nauseous. So I am going to just toss in some bubbles. Make sure you put these where you have resined if you put them down here where there's only resin on the bottom, it's not going to stick. It's not going to stick. So make sure you put them. Yes, Lee. Make sure you put them in the top where there is resin. This looks so good, y'all. I am very pleased. I'm going to, since I have resin, I'm going to resin right over the top again and make sure to cover some of these seed beads. I mean, I'm going to use my, I'm going to use this to hold my cup. <laughs> Look how dirty my hands are. Oh my goodness. All right. I am going to go back over this again. Just stay off of your sea glass. If you get resin on your sea glass, it's going to turn it clear. It won't look like sea glass anymore. It'll just look like glass. And if that's okay with you, then you can do it. Do you, boo, if that's okay with you, but if you want it to look frosty, then do not resin over the top of that, all right? Let's see. 
That is so delicious. I can't even bear it. Let me see. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I feel like I should stop, but this is just so pretty, y'all. Somebody is going to be gifted this. Can you lay down glue before the sea glass so the beads would stick? You could, but you're using resin anyway, so it's kind of double duty. It's kind of pointless. Blame the freezing on the full moon. That's a good idea. Okay, so look, y'all. I feel like I wanna sprinkle some just random into my water. I just can't stop for whatever reason. And I'm gonna hit it with my feet with my heat gun just real quick at the top. Pop any of those bubbles. And let me show you this, guys. Oh my goodness, y'all. Somebody is gonna get this. Somebody's gonna be gifted this. And who, if you get gifted this, please, I'm begging you. I'm gonna add this little blue thing. I got a little resin right here. So I'm gonna put some resin on the bottom and put it right there. And one more. I can't stop, y'all. I can't stop. We'll get a little resin on this one. And I'm gonna put it right there. Oh my goodness. If you win this, if you get this, please post pictures. Oh my goodness, look at this. Y'all, look how gorgeous. I want to make another one now. I wanna make a bigger one. <laughs> Should we make a bigger one tomorrow? This is fantastical. Oh, M G. Oh, Wendy, I'm so sorry.